Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of this course. In this part, we are going to learn about NumPy core concept for data analysis. So let's jump into the topics. What are the topics we are going to cover in this part of the course? So let's look into that. So in this part of the course, we are going to learn about these topics. So the first topic which we are going to look into the NumPy introduction, where we will look into what actually the NumPy is and why we are using NumPy. So it is very important to understand that whenever we are learning any new thing, we have to understand that why actually we are using that particular topic. So in the same aspect, we will look into why we are using NumPy and what actually it is. After that, we will look into the array revisited where we will learn about the types of arrays we are having. So that we will look into step two. After that, at step three, we will look into how many ways we can create the arrays within NumPy. Once we are comfortable with the NumPy array creation, then we will look into the internals of the NumPy array where we will understand that what actually the dimension is, what is shape is and what is a stride size. So this is pretty much very important to understand these internals. Once we understand that step four, then we will proceed further at step five and we will look into data types and the casting that is casting of the data type within NumPy. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further at step six and we will look into how we can slice and dice the NumPy array. So this topic is going to be very interesting. So in this way, we will learn about how we can slice the 1D array as well as multidimensional array. This topic is very important because it is one of the mostly used concept within NumPy. Once we are comfortable with the step six, then we will proceed further and we will look into step seven where we will learn about arrays operations. That means what are the operations we can perform on arrays as well as we will also look into what are the commonly used functions within NumPy array. Once we finish the step seven, then we will proceed further and we will look into the step eight where we will look into advanced concept within NumPy that is broadcasting where we will learn about what are the array broadcasting principle. Along with that, we will also understand that uses of broadcasting. After understanding broadcasting, we will proceed further and we will look into the vectorization concept and how it is better than the looping. That also we will cover at step nine. And once we understand the vectorization, then we will proceed further. And at step 10, we are going to cover many miscellaneous topic which is required in data analysis while using NumPy. So this is very much important. Over here, I will tell that we will look into the universal function, universal function and number. So all these concepts we will look into in the upcoming sessions of part two. So on this note, I'm stopping over here. See in the next session where we will start our discussion in a step by step manner for the NumPy core concept for data analysis. So see you guys. See you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.